Hey guys, so I was recently talking to a patient and one of his concerns was that he had a tremor and that they had diagnosed him with uh, an intention tremor. So a tremor is basically where you're, when you reach out with your hand and you start to shake or you can even be in your head and you kind of get a little bit of a, a shake in the head. Classically, most people think of this as Parkinson's disease, but there's a lot of different things that can cause tremors. And so when I was chatting with him, we kind of started discussing uh, what uh, what causes that, and he found it very interesting because you know there's a lot of stuff out there talking about it, but it's it's one thing to read about it and makes no sense to you, and it's another thing to have it explained to you. So that's kind of what I want to do here is I want to explain what it is and then how it comes about, and then when you understand kind of how it develops, you can work to create solutions to undo it. So first off is whenever you have any type of a tremor, you have to figure out what type of tremor that is. Uh, most of the times a neurologist is phenomenal at figuring this out. An intention tremor would be more towards if you're reaching for something and then when you get really close to, the closer you get to the object that you're reaching for, the harder it is to get to maintain control and you really start shaking. So if you reach for a glass of water, you're not shaking while you're reaching for it, but when you get close to it, then all of a sudden it's like, man, you're really shaking. And so that is an intention tremor. When you're intending to do something, uh, it starts to break down. And that is part of the brain and the back of the brain that controls coordination, and it's called your cerebellum. So it's always cerebellar in nature. The other type of tremor, or a big type of tremor that people are most concerned with is definitely Parkinson's disease. So a, a Parkinson's tremor looks different. Uh, and that's usually it's a resting tremor. So after you go and you can put yourself like your hands up into the wing beating position and as you move, unlike an intention tremor, you move fine and then you get to the, the, the place and then once you kind of rest holding that position, the tremor reemerges. So it's a reemerging tremor and it has a kind of a beating pattern to it. And this is a different part of the brain. This is actually in the brain stem at the very top where the area of the brain that produces dopamine is being affected. So there's a completely different mechanism in the brain on where that comes from. So there's, there's uh, medications that people will try to put on for Parkinson's disease. Uh, most of the time, the medications don't do anything. It's just kind of a, uh, a hopeful attempt to improve the amount of dopamine that's being able to be produced in, in the brain. But there's tons of genetic variations of Parkinson's when it expresses itself. And so a lot of times the medications don't work. Uh, but you know, a lot of times it's worth a shot because hey, if it is, people are, people are looking for that. What we always look at uh, is why does it come about in the first place? Well, it's always a decreased amount of stimulation from your body into your brain. So we talk a lot in our office about how the brain controls everything in the body, right? It, it sends signals down, literally all the way down to your toes so that your toenails know how to grow. Every cell in your body has to be hooked up to your brain. But there's equal amount, if not more information that's going from your body through the senses, right? Touch, sound, smell, sending information up, and then also about organs in your body, so stomach, heart, lungs, it's sending signals up into your brain. And those signals go up into the brain and they do lots of different things. But to understand how this works, it literally acts as a charging mechanism for your brain. So your brain is getting stimulated. If you don't get enough stimulation coming from your body equally, your brain starts to get out of balance or how much activity is in there starts to get out of balance. When you lose that proper balance over time, that, that changes how your brain functions with everything. Not just the areas that are sending signals up, but how your brain functions as a whole unit. And that can start to break down. And this can break down in your cerebellum. If it breaks down in your cerebellum, which is again, is in the very back of the brain, uh, then you can wind up with something like an intention tremor. And if, you, if it's going more through the brain stem, then what can happen is you can wind up with more of a neurodegenerative condition like Parkinson's. There's lots of different factors uh, involved. This is a very simple explanation. And both of which tend to respond very well with the type of chiropractic care that we do in our office, which is the sole intention is to remove any interference from how your brain communicates to your body and how your body communicates back to your brain. And it's doing that constantly. But what happens is that connection can get broken down that connection can be altered 
and the communication can be, can be uh, the signals can be distorted. So if you're ever sending a distorted signal, how well does it get through? If you pick up the phone and you know, someone's got, you know, they're going through a mountain pass, it's all garbled up. You can kind of hear some things and it depends on how well you know the person, the topic of conversation, maybe you can get the message clearly, but there's gonna be a lot that's lost in translation. The same thing happens if your body can't send up messages, your body's still gonna work because there's so many parts of your body that are working for you all the time. But if you, can, if you lose those messages, things start to break down. And that's what happens to so many people is that breakdown is started. And so what we do is we use uh, adjustments to basically, one, find, well, first we find out where those interferences are. And we use uh, x-rays as well as thermography in order to measure where those interferences are, how long they might have been there. Uh, and then we go through and we work through it using adjustments to restore that connection from your brain back to your body. When that happens, your body is able to send more signals, cleaner messages up into your brain. And over time, it literally starts to rebuild the brain tissue and in a better balance. And sci interestingly, scientists didn't think about 10 years ago and it was impossible. It's impossible for the brain to rebuild itself. Now, that is the most uh, accepted thing in neuroscience today. It's like, oh yeah, well we know that the brain is constantly changing and it's rewiring itself every single day, every single second of the day, it's constantly changing and it's responding. But not that long ago, we didn't believe that they, that was even possible. So we're constantly learning new things about how the body works in science, but really, it makes perfect sense that you need to get good signaling in your body and your brain and everything will start to work and improve. So when we uh, deal with tremors, we kind of one, we want to look and see what type of a tremor is it. There's other types of variations that I didn't talk about here, uh, but they will all tend to respond very well to chiropractic care the way that we do it here in our office. So if you want any more information, uh, please if you're in the, the area, swing by and come in, do a consultation, and you're going to benefit from getting adjusted regardless. Uh, but I can go into more detail with you on this. Um, if you're from out of the area and you want more information, you know, send this video out. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and I will do my best to check on that and get, that, you know, get those questions answered for you. So I hope you have an awesome day, and this is Dr. Lee Horan with Ignite Chiropractic. Talk to you guys soon.